Hi folks, just thought I'd do a quick video on how I turn Helen's digital artwork into printable stickers. Uh, I'm using a Silhouette machine, so and I will be just running through the software side of it today. Uh, so I'm using Silhouette Studio. Uh, I have Business Edition, but you can use any edition. Uh, this will work in the free edition as well as Designer. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Helen's shop. I've purchased the artwork. It was in my, just went through sort of the normal checkout proceed process and then uh, you get an email with a link, I followed the link and it comes to this um, this signing page. So then I'm going to just click download now. Your computer might ask you where you would like to save it. It might just um, save it in your downloads by default, but it doesn't matter as long as it's saved on your computer somewhere, you can choose wherever you'd like to save it. Once you click save, it will appear down in this bottom bar that shows your recent downloads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click show in folder. And so that opens it up in File Explorer. If you've already saved it to your computer, just open up File Explorer and find where you've saved those fo that folder. You'll notice it's got a little zip icon here and it says compressed zip next to it. And we need to unzip this because uh, Silhouette Studio can't open a zipped folder. So we're going to right click on it and click Extract All. And then you can choose where to save. It. Again, you could save it on your desktop or in whatever file system you use. So we're going to, I've actually already done this, so yours will just hopefully do it, uh, but I'm just going to extract it. And now you'll see that the exact same folder has appeared above. It's got um, no zip on the file icon and it says file folder. So now we can go back into Silhouette Studio. This is what we're going to make, uh, but I'm going to delete all of this so that I can show you how we're going to make it. So starting off with your page setup. Select your machine, select your cutting mat, and I am using A4 paper because I'm in Australia. If you're in the US or anywhere that uses letter size paper, you will select letter size from the drop down or whatever other media size you're using. Make sure you have your registration marks turned on. These are my settings in centimeters. You can just use the default settings, or if you already uh, print and cut, you can just use your regular print and cut settings. The first thing we're going to want to do is bring our files into Silhouette Studio. So Go back to your file explorer. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so it's easier to drag and drop. These are my five pieces of artwork. They're adorable and I can't wait to have stickers of them. So click on one, uh, click and hold your mouse down and drag it into Silhouette Studio. And now that piece of artwork is in Silhouette. So we're going to go back to, the, to file explorer and we're going to do the same thing for all five pieces of artwork. Make sure when you're dragging in that you don't drag on top of them because they, it will replace them instead of um, instead of importing them both. So just drag it into a clear oops, into a clear workspace. So let's show it again. So there's our five in. And if you need to, you can move this. So you can move File Explorer off to the other side so you can drag it in on either side. So we've done that now. Just going to minimize that and delete this extra. Um, if you have auto trace on these PNGs, because they have a transparent background, will have come in automatically traced. Um, if you don't have auto trace on, then you'll need to trace them. So I'm going to run through quickly what tracing looks like, just so that uh, if you don't have that setting, you know how to do it. So the icon over here is the trace tool. It looks like a little butterfly on the right, and you're going to select your trace area. Sorry, I've moved this. Select the trace area, and we're going to highlight everything all five pieces of artwork. If your computer struggles doing this, you might want to try doing one piece of artwork at a time, but um, most of them should be able to handle this fine. You're going to increase your threshold up all the way so that the sticker itself is outlined, but there isn't too much extra stuff around the edges outlined. And in this case, that's 100. For other artwork, you may need to bring it down a little bit, and we're going to click Trace and Detach. And what this is going to do is remove the transparent background. So you won't see much actually change when the step is complete. In fact, nothing looks like it's changed but um, if you click sort of near the artwork and drag away you can see this very faint outline and that's the sort of transparent background and a tiny bit of the artwork being cropped away so what we're going to do is we're going to delete that from all five because we actually don't want this this is what's causing our cut lines to be funny so delete all five of those and now what you're left with is the artwork that's actually detached from its transparent background. So you could move these around if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. Um, but for ease and make sure we don't lose any bits, I'm going to select all the artwork by clicking and dragging on my screen. 
and using Control and G to group them together. So again, I'm going to do that for all five. So select everything just so that each piece of art and all its little sparkles and glitters is, uh, is all kept together. Control G. You can also right click. I can also select everything, right click and group if that's easier. So now we have our five pieces of artwork. So you can see now that we've got our five pieces.